Hello and welcome to Running the Table, the podcast where we run through everything on the table in the world of sports and the divisional round is over and just like we did the wild card, we're going to run through and recap every single divisional round game starting with the Jacksonville Jaguars and Kansas City Chiefs. Tim, are you ready to run it? Let's run it. The Kansas City Chiefs escaped victorious at home with a 27 to 20 win over the Jaguars, but not without a scare from Patrick Mahomes, as that is the big story. He's almost a shoe in for regular season MVP, but he's questionable for next week because almost, you know, all the way through the first quarter, he hurt his right ankle, it looked like an ankle sprain. He spent most of the second quarter on the bench, but he played the entire second half on that hobbled ankle. It's definitely something we'll look to monitor ahead of the AFC championship game. Yeah, that's going to be huge for them. I mean, obviously, he's such a difference maker, um, not only in in just his ability to be on the field, but also the types of plays that he makes, whether or not he's going to be confined to being a pocket passer for the most part, if he's able to play, and the types of plays when he's able to, you know, run around and make something happen. Yeah, it's just a Um, playmaker. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously for the time that Chad Henney was in there during that second quarter, um, he did hold up his end of the bargain five for seven, 23 yards and a touchdown. Um, some of that, that uh, one drive that they had was made up by, by some good, good run game. Um, but talk about a different team with Patrick Mahomes at the helm versus Chad Henney. I mean, it's, it's night and day. So if they want to give themselves the best shot in this AFC championship game, boy, they better, better hope that Patrick Mahomes is able to play. But the big thing, though, is, yeah, they look different, but they were still able to get it done. I mean, anything is still possible. (laughs) Guy's 37 years old. He's been a mostly career backup. He's still kicking it around. And whether it's Mahomes or Henny, they're still throwing the ball to Travis Kelsey, who is the best tight end in the league, the ultimate safety blanket. 14 catches on 17 targets, 98 yards, and a pair of touchdowns. I mean, guy's just unbelievable. It's not pretty. It's not flashy, but he catches the ball and he gets it done. Yeah, I mean, no matter how long he's been in the league, he just continues to prove why he's still right up there at the top and the best tight end in the league Um, because he does it day in and day out against any team. doesn't really matter what schemes they throw at him. They will always, always find a way to find Travis Kelsey. And that just speaks to his ability to get open no matter, no matter what he really does. Yeah. And although this was a one score game, I think the game could have been a lot closer if it wasn't for the Jaguars offense shooting themselves in the foot with turnovers. But on the other side, Kansas City's defense stepping up and making plays two big turnovers with a Jalen Watson one-handed interception and a Nick Bolton fumble recovery in the red zone definitely changes the complexion of the game. If the Jaguars punch one or both of those in for scores, and that's the difference when you're playing a team like the chiefs, you can't make those mistakes. Yeah. For the Jaguars. I mean, we've seen some of this before with some of the turnover issues. Now, granted it wasn't as bad as we've seen in the past, um, but we've, we've mentioned at, at, with good teams like this, the the more times that you don't get uh, positive things out of drives, the less likely you are going to be able to keep yourself in it um, and give them credit. I mean, they fought all the way till the end and, and made it a one score game, um, but those turnovers are killer. Um, and that's something that I, I know that they'll look to improve on next year. It's something that Trevor Lawrence specifically has gotten better at. Um, and I think we'll con- continue to see him get better and better with not only the the decision making, um, but his his true throws and ability as well. Um, but there's there was a lot of things still to like about this 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 game for the Jaguars, especially this season. No one mm-hmm. expected them to be here. No one no one expected really anything from there. And it's such a crazy turnaround from last season. So if you're a Jaguars fan out there, you got to be still pretty hopeful coming into this next season. Yeah, you're super excited for the future. Year one of Doug Peterson and Trevor Lawrence couldn't have gone any better. And I think it's fair to put Trevor Lawrence up in that elite class of quarterbacks. Now he's shown it time and time again with the development that he's made. I mean, Trevor Lawrence is the first real long-term stable franchise quarterback that the Jacksonville Jaguars have had arguably since Mark Brunel. And that was when they were just starting because Mark Brunel was their first ever quarterback. And there's a very bright future in Jacksonville. And just a quick reminder, they get Calvin Ridley back next year. Yeah. Talk about talk Another about the, the, the forgotten piece that they added just because I mean he obviously was a complete non-factor this year, but hopefully uh they're able to get some some production similar out of the numbers that he was able to put up with the Falcons in uh, some of his heyday. But you know, they could they could be real special coming into next year. 
And on the other side, the Kansas City Chiefs, they're back to the AFC title game for the fifth consecutive year to play the Cincinnati Bengals once again at home. Mahomes and Burrow, part two. It's going to be a very fun one, and we're going to look to cover that one. It's going to be a really good game. But that's all we got for the Jaguars and the Chiefs recap. We'll be recapping all of the other divisional round games, and we'll bring you so much more content as the postseason rolls along. So if you want more from us, like and subscribe. And until next time, we out.